Okay, so welcome back. Today, we'll be learning all about instructions. So, an instruction is basically a statement or a group of statements that become executable when the program is assembled. Okay, so they do that by translating the instructions using the assembler into machine language. Okay, so take note that these instructions are executed by the CPU at runtime. Okay, so instructions have this syntax wherein you have the label, instruction, the operands, and the comments. Okay, so the labels are usually optional. Okay, so the labels only act as place markers. So they mark the address of the code or the data that you want. Okay, so there are two kinds of labels so the first one is the data label and the second one is the code label okay so an example of a data label is subscribe okay so subscribe is a label for a double word okay or a d word that has a value of 100 okay so subscribe is a label here next is an example of a code label is like okay so like is a label so it is a marker that tells the assembler that these group of instructions are all inside the like label and when you call the like label then you perform these instructions okay so the next one are instruction mnemonics or instructions for short. So instruction mnemonics are required. So instruction mnemonics are basically the commands that you input, okay? So an example of those are move, uh, add, sub, mul, jmp, and etc. Okay, so we will discuss those in the future videos. So, as you can see here, an example of an instruction here is MOV, MOV, and JMP, okay? Next are operands, okay? So, operands are basically the function parameters of the instruction, okay? So, they can have between 0 to 3 operands, usually, okay? They can be a register or a constant or whatever, okay? So, so an example of operands here are EAX10, ECX0, and like. Okay, so they can be operands. Lastly, you have comments. So comments are again optional and they are represented by putting a semicolon after the operands. Okay? So anything after the semicolon are all considered comments. So a comment here is, for example, uh, moves the value 10 to EAX, moves the value 0 to ECX, and jump back to the like label. Okay? So today we have learned about instructions, and I hope to see you again next time.